What's up everyone? It's Ryan Share here with PCDJ Red Mobile 3. This tutorial video is a quick rundown on how to use Red Mobile 3 for karaoke, for hosting karaoke. Red Mobile 3 is our more entry level software. Uh, the karaoke features are somewhat limited. Uh, you do have a basic singers list uh, as well as the ability to play karaoke files in either deck A or B uh, and output the lyrics the karaoke lyrics to a secondary display. And quickly, we're gonna kinda of step you through just getting started here. And the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do before launching Red Mobile 3 is enabling extended desktop mode. That's gonna allow you to send the lyrics only to a secondary display, be it a TV, monitor, or even a projector. So before you launch Red Mobile 3, and this demonstration is gonna be on Windows, the setting in Mac is much the same thing. Uh, it's extended display mode. And here's how you set up Windows for extended display mode. Right click on your Windows desktop and go to screen resolution. And what you'll see when you've connected a secondary display automatically is a one and a two, two representing the connected display. So right now, for the sake of this video, I've set it up to where it's only showing my desktop on one. When you have a secondary display connected, you will have this fourth menu here. This multiple displays menu will not populate your screen resolution dialog box here unless you've got the secondary display already connected. So we're gonna select extend these displays and hit apply. And OK, we're going to keep the changes. We're going to hit OK. So what you should see here is one, representing my display, and two, which is the secondary screen I've got connected. And it should say extend these displays here. Now, once you've set that up, and you do that before you launch Red Mobile 3, because Red Mobile 3 uh, will detect how your screens are configured upon startup. So now that we've done that, we can launch Red Mobile 3. And there we go, we've got the interface of the software up. I've imported some karaoke files. Now, Red Mobile 3 will play MP3 plus Gs, zipped MP3 plus Gs, and that's it. For MP4 videos or karaoke videos, DEX3 would be your option for that. So now we're gonna access my karaoke folder. And here we go, we got a few karaoke tracks that I've preloaded in here. So before we even get started playing music, there's a button right here to the very left of the search box labeled View Care, K-A-R, it's short for View Karaoke. If you click that button, it will launch a floating graphics window. Now I'm gonna have to pause this video and start it again uh, to show you how it looks on screen too. But essentially, once you've launched this floating window and you've got your screens configured in an extended display mode, all you're gonna do is grab this top bar with your mouse and literally drag this floating window off the right-hand side of your screen. Now I say right-hand side uh, because that's how my screen configuration has been set up with my secondary display to the right of my main display. Of course, if you've set it up differently to the left, you would drag off the left side of your screen. But you can't see this right now, um, but what, what I'm looking at is essentially just that floating window on my screen too, which just shows my desktop wallpaper and that's it. And I'm gonna click the full screen button at the bottom to make it full screen. So right now my karaoke lyrics screen is full screen on screen two. So all you've got to do at that point is load and play a song if you just wanna load directly. But of course most people are gonna to wanna to use the really basic singers list that we have currently built into Red Mobile 3 to kinda of help manage your uh, singers throughout the night or at least maintain some form of rotation uh, throughout the, the evening or karaoke event. So to get songs into your side list, you can just double click it. Now the software is gonna automatically bring up a dialog box asking you for a singer's name because it's detecting that you are adding a karaoke track to the side list. You will notice that if you Put a regular track over there, it's not going to ask you for a singer's name, it'll just go into the list. 
So now that it asks you for a singer's name, you're just going to type in a name. Type in my name. And that's it. Now, uh, for the sake of showing you how this looks, I'm going to go ahead and bring the screen to display back over to my own display, just so you can see it. This is what the audience, or rather the singer's display, will show, the next singer. So we're going to add a couple more. Just type in a couple names here. And they're all in my side list here, in order. And as you can see in the far right side of the side list, it'll show you your singer's names. Singer Ryan, Singer Bob, Singer Jessica. And it shows your next three singers on screen. So now, if I want to load and play a song, I can just manually drag from here up to the deck by just drag and drop. Um, or I can click on the song and just hit the load button in the deck. Um, or I can right click and say load to deck one or deck two. Now you can also use auto mix if you choose. Uh, that will just play through the list in order. You know, taking the first track to deck A, second track to deck B, third track to deck A, and fading back and forth seamlessly throughout. So now that we've got this, we can just load a song and play it. And as you can see, immediately it'll display the lyrics. Now, let's see if I can just show you real quick what it would look like on screen two on this display is this. You get full screen lyrics. And I can just double click that display to minimize it again, or I can click on it and hit the escape key on my keyboard and it'll minimize. So if I just double click, it'll get small again, or if I click and hit escape, it'll get small again to where you can drag and drop. So that's it. And now quickly, if I want to take my second track, and you'll see once you've played a song, it grays out so you know you've already loaded and played it. If I just want to click, you know, say this song's over, we'll just speed it up towards the end. I can hit the Mix Next button, and it will play, mix over to my next track. And that's it. Now, if this was stopped in between singers and sets, you know, if you, you've stopped the deck or you're playing regular music, if you were to take the fader to the opposite deck, it will show your next singers on display between singers and sets. If you can see that right there. So that's pretty much it for the, for the basics of doing karaoke with Red Mobile 2. It doesn't have key control, which is present in Dex 3. So if you're a KJ and you're pretty serious about it and you need key control, you might want to look at Dex 3 as an alternative option over Red Mobile 3. Uh, but this is a pretty capable piece of software for hosting karaoke shows as is, and of course a very full-featured DJ mixing application. Hope that helps. If you guys have any questions about configuration or otherwise, feel free to leave your questions in the comment section below. Enjoy.